everybody today I will make a small update on my zinc ion capacitor so this capacitor is um, uh, is uh, some symmetrical device which means the cathode and anode are the same from the same material so I use um, for active material I use activated carbon with uh, not very high surface area so uh, the surface area of my activated carbon is something like uh, 1600 uh, square meters per gram uh, I also will buy some activated carbon with a larger surface area uh, the surface area will be 2000 uh, to 2200 square meters per gram but here I use the activated carbon with surface area of 1600 square meters per gram so uh, actually I charge this cell on 2.4 volts and uh, the starting uh, amps are uh, 360 uh, yeah uh, 360 uh, milliamps uh, and now I have you see 2.4 volts and I still have uh, 270 uh, milliamps but yeah I will disconnect my power supply and I will run a test with my uh, electronic load and I will see what I can get I mean what energy I can get out from this zinc ion capacitor so remember I use some medium uh, surface area activated carbon and also uh, the, capa the capacitor is not fully charged I mean it's not uh, also it's not a half of you will charge so but I will disconnect my power supply and I will see what I can get out from this so my uh, electronic load is set uh, on 100 uh, milliamps uh, so I will discharge my capacitor with constant 100 milliamps load so okay that's it I disconnect my power supply and I will run So and now I need to wait and I will see what energy I will get out from this one. Uh, so in the meantime I will show you my old electrodes which I use in, uh, in this capacitor. So like I said, the positive and the negative electrode are made from the same material. So I use this graffiti carbon fiber uh, for holding uh, the active material in place. Uh, also works uh, this uh, carbon fiber like uh, some uh, conductivity network for active material because uh, if your active material have good conductivity uh, you will also charge faster and also uh, the self discharging uh, of the cell will be lower so you need to create a really good conductivity of your active material so also with my activated carbon I also put uh, into the mix uh, some conductive material 
In my case, I used uh, act, uh, carbon black uh, for increasing the conductivity of each electrode. So yeah, uh, back to my uh, back to my electronic load. Uh, so probably I will skip this section of video and I will just show you uh, on the end what I will get out from uh, this capacitor. So uh, the capacitor is made this, uh, on the same way with same materials uh, like I demonstrated in my previous video which is a zinc ion capacitor versus a lithium ion capacitor uh, but uh, only difference is uh, I charge this capacitor for a little bit longer uh, so remember this capacitor is not fully charged and I have a lot of uh, space to improve this capacitor uh, but yeah I will show you what I can get out from this one if I charge for a little for a little bit longer so um, like I said I will skip this section of video I will go to coffee and I will uh, come back to my lab and I will see what I will get out from this charge so guys I'm back the coffee was great um, yeah I just came uh, in my lab and uh, the test run uh, is finished uh, finished uh, so yeah this this zinc -Han capacitor is really really awesome so rem if you remember uh, this capacitor was not fully charged was not even half of fuel charged uh, also I, I use some uh, medium surface area activated carbon and yeah I get and I get 107 milliwatt hours per gram which is really really awesome so almost one hour of run time uh, on constant 100 milliamps load and yeah I'm really impressed by this one uh, so this zinc ion capacitor have great potential to make lead acid batteries obsolete so a little bit close closer look So yeah, uh, I like this one uh, because this device, this energy storage device is really, really simple. So my idea is to make some storage device, I mean some electrical storage device, uh, which are really simple to make, uh, which also uh, use some simple materials and yeah this one is way to go I mean uh, this zinc ion capacitor have plenty of uh, research space uh, for example I can change uh, the active uh, the activated carbon with more uh, high surface area activated carbon uh, I can improve the electrolyte and yeah so on uh, so and uh, the main point is this zinc ion capacitor is really really simple device because I don't like some uh, how to say complicated or uh, complex materials uh, I mean I also work with more complex materials uh, I exp experiment with more complex materials also uh, 
but like I said, my idea is uh, to make some energy storage device, uh, which is really, really simple and use also very simple uh, materials like this one. Uh, so yeah, uh, I think this will be enough for today. Uh, so guys, yeah, this was my little update on this Zincon capacitor. That's it for today and we see us in the next video. Bye.